out right <laughs> so we're recording now hey it is the ace michaels show uh brought to you 24 hours a day seven days a week we're on your internet dial you can reach us uh if you ever want to be on the show you can you can call us at 702-540-3498 or you can email you can email be on the buzz at yahoo.com and that's how we find you there doing that Today, my guest is Jennifer Stokes. She is a quadruple threat. She's a singer. She's a model. She's an actress. She's a dancer. And she's going to tell us all about it. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ace. It's my it's great pleasure. great to be here. My pleasure, my pleasure. So you do several things. What's your favorite? Mm, that's hard. I My very, very favorite is Runway. Interesting. I like to rock it out on the runway. Interesting. And and are you getting a lot of runway opportunities? It seems like it seems like a runway opportunity is kind of like the fringe benefit of the modeling world. Like if you get to do runway, that's really an extra bonus. And I'm actually doing New York Fashion Week in February. Nice. So, yes. I mean, I love acting. I love taking on a character and just completely becoming that character, enveloping that character. So I do love that acting too. And you pull that over into modeling too and runway because you become, you become that fully, wholly, spiritually, soulfully, yes. Wow. And did you, so obviously now you've had some training at this, like you're not just a novice actress or somebody who said, hey, things ain't going well at the burger joint. I'll try acting, right? So you really have put a lot into this, it sounds like. I have. I am actually a tiger, a University of Memphis tiger. And I have had many acting classes, acting training, modeling training. I'm actually working with John Plata too now. So here, up in... DC. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, Just, when I think of DC, of course, I think of government stuff. I don't really think of it being like some kind of entertainment mecca with a bunch of runway models running around and stuff. Yeah, and I'm really thinking about New York and LA. Just kind of pulled between going one or the other. Now, how long have you been doing this modeling? I've actually been doing it since high school. If you're ready, my first job and first modeling gig ever, just get ready, Graceland. Gr Do you know what Graceland is? You're talking about Elvis's Graceland? I am talking about Elvis Presley's Graceland. So yes, I am. And in, in what connection were you modeling at Elvis Presley's Graceland? <laughs> I don't get. <laughs> I, I don't see how that comes together. Like, what what's going on with Elvis and modeling? Just you wait. I was a tour guide. I was actually a VIP tour guide. So I actually met Miss Priscilla, Miss Lisa Marie, and Mr. Nicholas Cage. You know, he and Lisa Marie were a thing. For sure, a little while. Sure. So VIP tour guide. And then they came to me and said, would you be in our catalog? And I was like, sure. And the photographer said, you are a natural. You need to do this. And he kind of just became my first manager. And this was the and very first. Now, I want to make sure I understand this. So let me go back a step. You... <laughs> are working at Graceland, which is no small feat to begin with. I'm sure they've got all kinds of security check for you to work at Graceland. But you're working at Graceland, home of the king of rock and roll. And then you get the opportunity 
to be a model, which you clearly had no uh, inkling that something like that would come out of it, right? That you didn't think that you might become a model working with the Graceland crew, right? No, no. I mean, I had been approached at various times, but it was always kind of a gig thing where it was like, we want you to pay this much money mm. for all this. And I was like, yeah, no, no. Miss Tyra Banks, she says, no, no. And so, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, the world does revolve around what Miss Tyra Banks says. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. She says, yes. no, no. I love it. Okay, good. Yes. So And so then you got this job. Uh, and then the photographer that took the pictures was actually willing to go out and help you find work. Right? Yeah. Yeah, he kind of took over. He actually got me classes really starting on the posing. And now I teach classes on posing, too, sometimes to girls. I'll get a class together and really teach them how to really present themselves. Because I'm all about helping reach into people's souls and helping them find themselves. That's really who I am. My nickname, I don't know if you know this, Joyful Jen. (laughs) <laughs> my favorite word is joy and I wake ev- up every morning meditating on spreading a little bit of joy to each person that I come in contact with nice now that brings up another question I was going to ask you think about this before you answer okay, okay. can any girl be a model like there's a lot of Instagram girls out now that think they're models. Can any girl be a model? I do believe that anybody can be a model. You just have to find the right avenue for yourself. Any girl, I mean, of course, that field is wide open for mm-hmm. men, for males. Um but, yes, I just really feel like you have to dig inside yourself and find the right avenue for you in that area, ladies. Yes, dig inside yourself and make sure that's what you want. You find yourself. You find yourself. You believe in yourself. You don't let anybody else determine that. You determine for yourself, ladies. Interesting. Now, given that you're joyful, um, I'm led to believe maybe that you have a spiritual uh, background behind all of the things that you're doing. You're kind of motivated by the spirit. Is that where I'm, what I'm getting from that? Yes. Yes, you are? Jesus first, yourself last, and others in between. Okay. And so given that, yes. I'm going to ask you a real deep kind of question. Um You've obviously had a lot of success in your life, Jennifer. Do you think that you would have been able to achieve this success without the spiritual base? Like some people do it. Some people have managed to achieve great things, makes lots of money necessarily, uh, blah, 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 right? Uh, Mm -hmm. Without ever paying any type of homage to God or Jesus or the Holy Ghost. But do you think that you personally, would you have been as successful if you hadn't had that spiritual base? I don't think that I would because I think that, I don't even think it. I believe it's what keeps me on the path even when it gets hard. This industry is hard. And you have to understand no, 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 no leads to that yes. That is yes. that what it is? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on. You had me and then you lost me. <laughs> you mean to tell me no, 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 no leads to that yes? Because <laughs> ever since I was a kid, it. I was told that no, no, no means no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yes. I mean... You know what I mean. Those, you just get no after no after no, and it can drag you down. And if yeah. you don't believe in yourself and you don't, that's why I'm so big into feeling, filling others with that deep 
inner self believe Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because and yes and he's the one that has led me to that he is the one that has led me to be who i am as far as reaching out to others so yes now what if somebody says because people do you know they got different things they say you know people are we'll talk about people Mm -hmm. later but, uh, you know, people do say different things. And some people might say, well, look, look, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's easy for you, Jennifer. You know, you're a pretty cute cookie in the bag. For me, I'm a crumbly cookie. I got issues. I got, you know, divorced. I got these kids. I got these bills. My car is wob- wobbly and lopsided. Like all these problems, I got issues, right? So you would say the same thing to them? Like you would give them the same uh, motivation, even with all the challenges they're facing? I would. I would just love to sit right across from them. And I do this. I sit right across from people that have these deep problems. I actually met a lady just the other day, right before Christmas, that had been homeless and Mm. had just gotten a home. And I told her, I said, we're just going to focus on the the fact that you've got a home now we're going to focus on the positive it is it's all about when i'm sitting across from someone that has these huge trials it's all about finding that one positive Hmm. that one positive thing that they can look at in their life and focusing on that and really just bringing that out because there is so much negative this world i mean i am changing this world one person at a time. Wow. And did you yourself, Jennifer, did you have something, uh, a thing or an instance in life that happened that you can look back on and say, you know what, it was because of August 11th changed everything for me and that's why I am the person I am today? I have always been this type of person with other people really reaching out to people and really digging deep into their souls but yes um a couple of years ago i almost died Mm. and yes i went to bed perfectly fine woke up and my head felt like it was going to explode i had a brain aneurysm i was actually put on an airplane and my people were told, do not expect her to be alive when you get to the hospital. Mm. I was in surgery for 13 hours. Then I was on a vent for two days. And even my neurosurgeon, if he was on this call with you, he would say, I'm a miracle. <laughs> because I was not supposed to be here. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yes. Um, yes. And so every day you have today. Live today to the fullest. You have today. Everyone out there, you have today. Live today to the fullest, one minute at a time. Wow. What does one do um, the day after they thought they died? Like, what what happens in your life? Like, what changes that next day? Well, I mean, it takes a few weeks because you kind of come out of it and you're (laughs) not even sure what happened. I mean, I didn't know that. I had had brain surgery. My skull had been cut open, and I had had brain surgery. So, um, yes. But like my neurosurgeon says, he's like, now I have. He's even changed his beliefs because he said, I eat, I see that it can happen because wow. I do my workout, I sing, I dance, I do everything. I'm 100%. Wow. And that just, he just doesn't have anybody. And he's like a really amazing neurosurgeon. He just hasn't had that hmm. happen. So it just, you know, I got home and just, like I said, it just even drove me more to spread that joy and to take it one person at a time, changing the world one person at a time. Wow. You know, I was going to close the show on a different note, but I can't close the show stronger than that. I really love that. Jennifer, if people want to book you, they want to hire you, they want to reach out and just get more good advice from you, where would they do that? How do they get and stay in touch with you on the www? Um, I do have a website, and it's actually in process right now, 
the one and only joyful Jen dot com. Um, Facebook, Jennifer Stokes, in quote in parentheses, Joyful Jen. Instagram, the one and only Joyful Jen. And then Twitter, joyous underscore Jen underscore. Mm-hmm. So, but but that's but yes, I mean um, my website actually has my email address on it. Send me an email. I will be glad to reach out to you because that's kind of who I am too, as far as like a life coach. Mm-hmm. I would love to reach out and help. And that is what's that's up. Right. Hey, it's the Ace Michael Show. You know what I say, man. Live the life you love. Love the life you live. Thank you. Every day. That was awesome.